Let's give a welcome for On um, today's tutorial, just an update on crochet braids. And what I'm going to do today is kind of just um, show you different ways to kind of change it around so it's not looking the same. I'm not sure if you're like me. You get really bored with a hairstyle really quickly. So I just took my little thin scarf. And this is my little scarf I just got from a thrift store. It's a really thin one. You can just kind of like, you know, tie it. Take, you know, make your little bang area here. Take the back of it, put some bobby pins in it, hold it down, and um, just tie it around once. And then we're going to bring it back up and tie it again. And I'm going to make a cute little bow here. So, once you, as you can see, this is kind of long. So, instead of it being so long, you might want to take and tie it a couple of times just to uh, make it shorter and then begin to make your bow so you make your bow and make kind of a small bow because that's how I like it I'm going to make a little small bow here I'm going to straighten it out take this in as you can see right here and I'm going to just take and just tuck that under because you don't need to see that and I'm going to open it up. But at the end of the day, there you go. A cute little bow. So I'm going to just show you a couple of other ways and things I do. Then I'm going to show you how I refresh my braids after they've been in for some time. So that's the bow. Alright, here is my headband. And this is just a little headband. You just stick it on like this. And as you can see... That's pretty simple and easy to do. Headband number one. If you want something a little bit more sparkly, you can go with the wider band, which sometimes looks a little bit more fancy or look like you're really doing something. And you can throw that on. Make sure you just tuck the pieces in and you know fix the hair the way you like it. But that's just a little bit more fancier one. See that's very cute. And the last one is a little small little bow little flower out of for whatever reason I love these flowers you kind of like just bring it over top of your hair and you can place it there that looks really cute like you're just tucking it on have a little flower sitting in your head really cute and my last and final one is going to be when I cover all the hair put all the hair up and give you my side um, with my brown longer scarf, this is a fairly long scarf, um, and this is my uh, one where I give you my little flower that I make on the side, which comes out really cute. So I'm going to take it, lay it across my head this way, go down. I'm going to cover that part of my hair up in the back. Go ahead and tuck this in in the back so it's not sticking out. I'm going to take and make a knot. Not a knot but you know tie it. Make it tight so it can draw this hair in. And again this is you know it's towards the end if you just want to cover your hair up you can do this with crochet braids you can do it with anything. You know, sometimes you just don't want to have that same old, old look. So you kind of come over here to the side. So what I'm going to do is take this hair, kind of like twist it under a little bit and make like a side bang. Okay. 
get that out the way. I'm going to take my two pieces, bring them together. I'm going to twist them together. It's a good idea to make sure that they're even, but if not, you can just twist, 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 twist. You'll twist this, twist this, twist this till it comes into a circle. Swirl it around, around, around. And there it is. Then you take a handy dandy bobby pin because it's very short. Stick it in. Flatten it out. There you go. So you can make it like a side, a side bang, if you like, to kind of let you display your bun. is brown, so it's kind of hard to really see um, the flower, but I'll move in closer so you can really see it. And you can either do that or you can just lay the hair down and just have your little thing on the side. The back of your hair is covered up. A nice little style to wear in the summertime um, because of the crochet bridge, it looks puffy in the back, but usually it'll be down. Or you can do the puffiness because sometimes people aren't doing it to make their hair look flat. They're just doing it just for style. Um, these are just really merely for style, um, not just one where you're trying to cover your hair up. Um, I'll do more tutorial on just to pull my hair back. Crochet braids. Okay, so. The process that I do to refresh my crochet braids are I got to kind of get these bobby pins out of my hair. So once I get the bobby pins out, then I'll be able to show you how I refresh them. All right, now this is how I do my refresh uh, my crochet braid process. So what I do first is I just take some H2O, some water. Wet my entire hair just to kind of get it moist. Or usually, um, if I want to put oil in, I'll put the oil in and whatever. Either way, it doesn't matter. So what I do is just wet the braids because with these, with this hair, water works so awesome with it. And it's hard to see because I'm on the camera, but it really refreshes the break, the, the curls. So I take it, wet the hair, not soaking wet, but just enough so you can feel the moisture and it helps moist, moisten my hair as well. You know, but again, because it's crochet braids, you don't want to soak it all the way through to the uh, to your, you know, all the way down to your braids. But you can stand and get a little bit of moisture on them, it won't kill them. So what I do is I just wet all this hair. Once I get it wet, I just kind of like, you know, run my fingers through it. Run my fingers through it. So the water can get on it. Shake it around. And then I'm good. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, it looks, it's frizzy, but not as frizzy as it was before I put the water in it. And if you kind of like just rake kind of through it, it kind of almost put the curls right back in the place of where they were. You know, it brings your curls, brings the life back to your hair. Um, then I just kind of like go through it, pull it out. Like as you can see this right here, this hair, I just go through it, grab my scissors, and this pretty much cut off of that, cut that off. That's like the shedding hair, the shedding and um, I just go through my whole head and do this, clip it so it's not looking so crazy in some of these crazy wild ends. Get these ends nice and clipped up. I just go through the hair and I mean you don't really want to pull it out but if you just pull it down and then you know gently pull it you'll see the pieces that need to just come on out the, just the, I'm not cutting the curls I'm just cutting like the frizzy ends you know so I don't want to alter my cut here and pretty much that's it and boom there you go 
you refresh your braids you make it how you want now see how for whatever reason over time this one uh just came out so we don't need that um sometimes the braids come out so you need to go in and retouch or you know put the ones back in that come out or you can just not put them in because you know as time go on half the time the hair is full so you don't even notice the ones that are missing um most of the time the pro shape braids but i have noticed they don't really fall out like that so you don't have to really worry about that too much pretty much when you're pulling and tugging them like how i was then you have more of a problem of it you know falling out as you can see like these little straggly pieces that kind of came down just it's not your hair so hey just cut it on off trim it up the edges you know the way you like it get it back to that freshly new look new style that you had from the beginning I mean you don't want to just cut all the hair up but you know pretty much just do a little light little trim and there you have it refreshing my crochet braids and if you really want to um, this is pretty much all you have to do this hair is so easy to manage you're literally not doing anything to it um, but uh, styling it if you want to because pretty much the style you know you already have it in the style but if you just want to style it differently just so it's not the same old look then you can go ahead and do that but otherwise this is it you don't have to worry about doing anything to this hair that's what I love about it it's pretty much wet and go and that's all you have to do no combing no brushing no any of that and as you can see I trim this up a little bit and it is looking just as cute and I am really enjoying these crochet braids I'm going to try another set of crochet braids once these are done I'm not sure which ones I'm going to try again what I can say about these ones uh, that, are, that are different from um, the uh, regular cankaline hair because the lady in the store told me this is this wasn't cankaline hair this is a different kind of fiber other than cankaline the cankaline really itch really bad so I could have some kind of allergy to it and maybe that doesn't apply to everyone but for me it really made me itch <sighs> and these ones did not this feels so light so much better than getting a um, a sewing weave is much cooler you know I'm not a young chickadee so um, I don't like all that heaviness on my head and the heat and it's, it's just too hot for me I got kids so I need something that's um that's lightweight easy because I got plenty of stuff to do besides sitting there trying to uh, flat iron hair and all that kind of stuff every day and that's what I liked about the cake right here as well so that's it for now I'm going to continue to play with my hair and trim it up and this is probably about I would say two or three weeks now that I have had these in and I'm going to try, 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 try to keep them in for six weeks but we never know. So until next time, I'm the Queen of Trades, it's Earth, I'm signing off, bye guys.